Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Kazuma from Cindy Knapp. This is a grid tangle. And um, I'm going to start off with a. I'm going to put a little border around the edge here. Just because I'm. I kind of like the way that that looks versus, you know, running off the end of the tile, which sometimes I like the way that looks and I do that. All right. So we're just, uh, you know what? Um, no, I'm just going to do one of the grids. So that way then you can see it well. And, uh, and also keeps in line with the whole notion of a, of that. This is a quick video. All right. In each box, you're going to put an orb in the center. Then, coming out to each corner, and actually I found working from the corner in seemed to help because what I want to do is have it be kind of at equal distances. You can decide which way is better for you, but I'm going to start there. So a certain distance from the corner and then at a similar distance on the other side, bringing it into the same point on that orb. And then we're going to do that for every corner. Let me find the last one. <laughs> That's supposed to help me stay in the camera, sort of. And I'll tell you, as just as most all tangles are forgivable. So, you know, if, it, if it's close, like this one's a little thinner than that one, we're not splitting hairs. It's all fine. Okay. Then in each space, we're going to draw a curved line. So we're going to start, we're actually going to do two, but we're going to start with the bigger one first. And this, you can decide, of course, how high or how, you know, how tall or how shallow those are going to be. And then just a little bit of distance between these. Um, oh, they're like big triangles that we just made. I kind of am liking having my arch be a nice big arch. Uh, make sure to take a look at the description section because I do have uh, you know, um, Cindy's step out in there from Tangle Patterns. And that way you can see how she did it and also look at some some of the you know the artwork the samples on there uh, just to give you extra ideas now the next step is we're going to put another we're going to aura this but we're going to do it a little bit thicker if you have so i'm using uh this is a micron 10 versus the micron one and so i'm going to do that inside i'm just going to do it with the 10 instead of uh what i would normally do is kind of do a couple lines and then then color it fill it in and this way I can do just one or I can go back and add if I want to have it be a little extra thick but that's nice to have these and I did kind of do that there so now I feel like I have to because I was fixing something so I'm just going to come back and we'll add a little bit of thickness to these we'll even that up so that way then they match but it is handy to have these, have the extra sizes at the ready. Okay. Then the final step is we can put a little orb on the inside there. And then and that one, of course, I mean, you can determine how thick you want that or not. Then we can have fun with some shading. And you know what, let me just, I'm going to do this on this big scale. And then I'll show you one in a smaller grid also. I'm just going to put graphite on these lines. And that's, that is the tangle. So what you would do is you would do that in each of the boxes in your grid. And like I said, in a minute, I will show you one that's, uh, what do we got? Four square here. But I'm just going to put, like I said, putting the graphite over these lines. And I'm going to draw, draw it out pull it out, push it out, <laughs> whichever way you want to think about it, into both sections. I'm just going to do, there we go, 
well, I might have to pull it out a little bit more. I'm doing some, just some little, um, little bit of a circular motion as I'm traveling up that to pull it onto both sides. You can do one side or the other in the sample I sh I, that I'm going to show in a minute. I did just do it to one side. And this is just an option. Plus, you, you know, you can color in any of the sections. You could decorate them however you want. It is completely up to you. I do notice that as I'm doing these little circles. Whoops. Well, that's interesting. Now I'm going to have to do that with the others. That's all right. I was just trying to bring out the graphite a little bit more, and I ended up coloring, but that's okay. And, you know, whenever something happens, you just have to make it consistent through everything, and then it looks cool. Yeah, so that was just a little, that was light. And so that's interesting. But when you do it in a grid, it comes out really, really neat. Um, you know, something you do to it, because this is rather large, I wouldn't necessarily have a grid that this, that's like where the boxes are that large. I don't know if you're working on something enormous, of course you might. Um, if that was the case, you could, I could put a little extra aura on the inside of there. This one I decided to color in because I was going to put a third one in and um, I didn't like it so well. So I just decided to fill that this whole section in and then add some uh, jelly roll, some white to jelly roll to add a little bit of shine to that. This one I did the graphite on the inside. So in these blank areas, or no, I'm sorry, it would be because this is that corner. So I just did it on the inside and worked to keep it out of um, these sections so that it gives it a, a, you know, a little bit different look. So really neat tangle. Lots of, lots of potential. Uh, again, do take a look at the, the description section for step outs and also uh, ways to connect with me if you would like to. Um, if you want to join me for some online classes, I do those uh, every week and would love to have you. If you enjoyed the video, uh, would love to have a, you know a thumbs up or a like, um, share it, and uh, and be a subscriber if you're not a subscriber already. I appreciate all of that, and um, yeah. And with that, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.